So that's why meteor showers occur at the same time every year. Mm. Probably the most famous of these is the Perseid meteor showers, which takes place in the second week of August, mm -hmm. August 10th, 11th, 12th. It's a wide meteor shower, so you can see it over several days. That's how long it takes Earth to plow through all of the, the debris. So when we are moving through the debris leftovers from a comet, when we're experiencing a meteor shower, it is wise to put your satellite in safe mode. So the Hubble telescope turns away from the direction of motion in Earth's orbit, closes the hatch to protect the mirror. Gotcha. Doesn't mean you won't still get hit. Right. But maybe you'll get hit on something that wasn't well, as costly get, as the mirror. You'll get paddled. <laughs> okay. So it's totally a risk. Wow. And... Uh, and the larger is our technosphere, the more of Earth's coverage. You, you've seen Elon launching thousands thousand, of satellites. Yeah. All right? Some of these are going to get taken out. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Watch out, Elon. Yep, the solar system is coming against you. <laughs> just because <laughs> yeah, you. it's the size of a pea, if it's going 11 miles a second, it, it's going to do some damage. Yeah, that's called a bullet. Yeah, yeah. it's a BB gun. That'll kill you. <laughs> right. <Yeah. Okay. laughs> all right. So, uh, now one... Last interesting fact, I think, about this, right? right? Okay. So Earth is plowing into the meteors, right, mm -hmm. to create the meteor shower. That means the back side of Earth is not getting the brunt of it, only the front side. Half of that is darkness and the other half is light. Every part of that side of the Earth is equally susceptible to meteor showers. The problem is, after the sun rises, you're not going to see them. 